In every moment of our lives, we have a choice to move towards renewal or to remain stuck. I'll introduce you to a new word, stuckness, that describes a very old and familiar experience. It's the experience of not being able to change an old pattern. For one person, it might be pardon of worry that keeps them stuck. For someone else, it might be self-doubt or low self-esteem. The stuckness syndrome is very widespread. It can be measured by all the ways people crave changes but cannot bring it about. Fortunately, the mind that is trapped in stuckness can become unstuck. Now, we'll dive deeper into this process, which is natural, painless, and without struggle. Then, we'll meditate with Deepak. When a person feels stuck, it feels as if the same old things keep repeating themselves, resisting the desire to get free and move forward. Where does the sense of stuckness come from? It comes from old conditioning that has literally created mental grooves. Neuroscience has become very interested in the default mode network. These are the pathways your brain automatically takes, often without your conscious permission. Falling into default mode occurs when you're thinking about others, thinking about yourself, remembering the past, and planning for the future. As an experience, being in default mode feels like a merry-go-round that brings around the same old habits, reactions, beliefs, memories, and trained behavior. Default mode is extremely helpful for remembering a task like playing the piano or riding a bicycle. But psychologically, it engraves impressions on the mind that keep you stuck. Anything that gets stuck prevents you from living in the present. By definition, you're stuck in the past and stuckness is defensive. It tries to protect you from old hurts. It hides weaknesses by always having an instant response. It gives you a sense of strong identity when in reality, what you possess are stubborn beliefs and habits. The cure for stuckness is to notice your repeated habits, take a pause and open yourself to a more conscious choice. Does a certain person in your life always make you feel annoyed? You are stuck in that response and you're responsible for it. Only fresh awareness can break the pattern, so you need to notice your annoyance, pause and let a new response take its place, even if the response is a simple kind of openness without annoyance. Noticing and becoming aware will win half the battle. Instead of giving in to an old reaction, you can center yourself and return to the present moment. The other victory you need to win is learning to welcome the present moment. This begins in meditation, which quiets the active mind and brings your attention to the present moment. When you get there, you are free to look around and in time, you find that you are immersed in peace, silence and bliss. Those are the basic traits of the mind when it is in the present rather than stuck in the past. Once you feel how comfortable it is to rest in the present moment, it is only a matter of time before you welcome the present moment outside meditation. Then the past loses its hold on you and you have freed your mind to be totally unstuck. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I welcome new thoughts and experiences. I welcome new thoughts and experiences. Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra 
वम वम This mantra connects your awareness to the easy flow and rhythm of existence. From this expanded state of consciousness, you feel complete, free and open to new experiences. Repeat it silently to yourself. Vam Vam With each repetition, feel your body mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts noises or physical sensations simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra i'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation vam vam Bum.
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate this centering thought. I welcome new thoughts and experiences. I welcome new thoughts and experiences. Namaste.